we go. Hello and welcome today, Andrea, Andrea Martin. And uh, we're going to be talking about um, star beings and how we can contact, right? How we can make contact. Yes. Yes. And it's very simple, you say. Very so simple. So you're going yep. to show it. Yes. Yes. That is very simple. People, you know, it's like everyone can do this. It isn't like all these, you know, I, I think there's this kind of mysticism surrounding the whole situation. Um, and it doesn't need to be. It's quite, it's quite simple. Um, so first things first, um, you have to ask yourself why you want to have contact um, with star beings, you know, people, intent. right, right. Um, so you intent. Yeah, it has to be um, pure. They will not come to you if it's not pure. So it's not a sideshow. <laughs> it's not going to be, you know, a circus trick that you do. Um, you know, if you want to make money off of this, like, oh, I talked to this, you know, woman from blah, blah. You may, no, it's not going to happen. They're not going to come through. Um, you have to, to do it out of, of a pureness, out of, out of a love, right? And when you get into that area, it's going to come very quick. Okay. Right. It's okay to be nervous or, um, because, you know, it's, it's okay to... Um, not really know what how to do this is perfectly fine. I I work with people who've had went from like basically zero to sixty, um, from zero contact to full by location. Like yeah, wow, <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, like right away, right away, um, yeah. Um, so when you're in that situation, okay, you have to do this out of purity. Okay, then you want to start meditating. Okay, so they want to contact you. Um, they they trying to contact you. Uh, but they can only go so far, right? You have to meet them halfway in the situation. Um, so some of the things that you have you want to do and work with is think about which times of day are you the most open? Are you the most relaxed, right? That can be right when you wake up or right before you wake up. That can be before you go to bed. That can be the middle of the night. You want to wake up middle of the night. Whenever you're in this like almost half state of being, that's when you're going to be most receptive. And that can be different for for everyone. And I think it's important to be open at any time because it can happen anytime during the, you can be having, you never know. Um, is it during the day, right? Is it, are there, are there locations where you think you could meditate and be very calm? Um, mm. So once you know what works for you and you just play around with stuff, there's no rules, right? Um, so, cause they're, they're trying, they're really trying to reach you. Um, another thing you'll want to do is find a meditation that works for you. Play around with different ones. Maybe it's, it's shamanic drumming. Maybe it's singing bowls. Maybe it's a guided meditation. Um, so the contact that first happened for me was using this, this lady who's on YouTube, Solara Anra. <laughs> her stuff just whoa. Um, she would, she would, I could move right away with her. That was the first contact I had. How um, do you spell her last name? It's Solara and Anra, A N R A. Okay, I got it. Okay, she, you. Know, she may not work. You know, again, it worked for me. Other people right. have to decide what, what it is that, you know, you just try different things. Like, do you, do you, it has to be able to launch you into a different area. So when you do the meditations, you, you want to be able to start seeing like waves and start seeing that like little vortex thing, that little white dot or whatever, little purple dot. You start like, you really, I mean, you can have, um, you can start rocking, you can start having electricity in your body, vibrations, um, anything. You, you want to have some kind of sensations because, you know, that way there you're, you're opening up, um, so just just try different things. There's no like right or wrong answer. Um, just, but just keep doing it. You know, keep a lot of people that I work with. They're like, oh, I, I can't do it. I can't meditate. You can. You just have to find the right one because it's super super important. And yes. then once you have your win, it'll 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 you know manifest. Um, I, carry I use I wear a crystal or carry or hold a crystal. I'll hold a crystal like this sometimes. You know, find a crystal that when you buy your crystals, find one that resonates with you. One one that I gotta have is walk into a crystal store, right? And and See which one calls your name, right? That's the one you need. That's an amethyst. This is amethyst. I love amethyst. Beautiful, yes. I'll use quartz as well. Um, and I, but I'll ask now. I'll ask like, what should I use to connect with you? Yeah. Uh, okay. Tarot is another great thing for people to try using something like tarot. I I don't know what it is about for me for tarot. They'll tell me get the tarot, and the minute I just get it, it's like boom, they come through. Um, so it's a little bit different if you're going to be connecting with a an incarnation right so a a star person a star race in body is a little bit harder than um, a higher council right because they're they're non-physical somebody in a body it can the contact can be like you may have to start to create better contact and they'll assist you with that once you start making the contact right 
mm. they, they, they have the ability to, to take you places and to do different things with you to, to really open up the contact. So just let it keep going and going and going. Um, and really, I mean, I said that, that, that just give yourself the time. Don't try to force. That's what then the Pleiadians always say that don't force it. Oh, that goes out saying, don't take anything. <laughs> do not take any sub. I know this is probably not popular, <laughs> but <laughs> and everybody's excited about all these different substances. Um, do not take those. No, no. Okay. It's <laughs> Let totally, it totally organic, totally natural. Yes. Yeah. yeah don't no. Um, They don't take stuff like that. They do not do that. Then it's it's like it's not even a shortcut. You're really messing with your body. <laughs> you're is no, they're, they're they're big no on that. Um, so just take your time and let it happen organically. And ask for help. You know, ask for help. Let, let that. That's happen. that's really a big uh, key right there because oh, yeah. a lot of people are afraid to ask for help or don't even think about that. Yeah. So and, yeah, and they and they won't really. Um, they will help you, um, but they won't like in impose upon you. Although right. I get high located, I don't like anyway. I didn't ask, um, but um, yeah, a ask, open up, say it's okay. I want I, and tell them that what kind of experiences you want to have. I want to yeah. have the experience. I want to. I want to go up into your ship. I want to. I want to do this. I want to do that. And then they'll they'll say, oh, of course, they want you up there anyway. Okay. So like they they love you. I mean, so they, they you can invite yourself. Yes. I always thought that you had to be invited but you can actually invite yourself that's not rude to say i want to go on your ship no because they i mean yeah i mean they want you up there with them but they may not they may feel like maybe maybe they, they, you're nervous about it or something um but they won't impose in your space i see okay that makes sense yeah or if you have some healing you need uh, if, if i need something done oh uh, totally yeah ask for for some healing ask for assistance things like that it feels good to help somebody yes absolutely so they want to yeah. they want to feel good right and they and helping you makes them feel good um so yeah, yeah. They, i'll ask all the time like if they'll show me stuff i don't see clearly i'll be like what are you showing me what are you <laughs> yes <laughs> I do, I do. I don't know. <laughs> yeah and yeah. then then you know you know they're like okay let's let's like force this you know see what see what we can see you know um because then you'll start to make you may notice you'll start making connections with one or two people or a family mm -hmm. um your star family right um they'll yeah. start to spend more time you come in on your you just just randomly start coming in um and, and like i said it, it's really a mutual like you would meet people right it's a, it's a mutual agreement that you keep working with um another thing i recommend people do is to, is to is to fuse their body is senses right so touching like have them hold your hand something like that you can feel that right yeah. so this this is i've actually had um oh i actually had my friend patrick <laughs> um i was working with him so we ended um i've done guided stuff with him if you have a friend that also helps do guided stuff do some remote viewing uh or if your friend is more sight more sight whatever everybody's psychic but i mean if you're somebody's more experienced in the process right then have them work with you guide you through things like that so um for patrick what i said because i know he was a commander on a starfleet I said, what does the uniform feel like? What does a Federation uniform feel like? And he got it 100%. Wow. It was like, oh, oh, it's this, it's this. It feels like this. It's, it's tight on me, but it's nice. It's, it's like, yes, we went through the whole process. Um, another woman that I work with, um, I had Eco work with her because um, she like, okay, like I'm, I'm, we're going to, she got, that was the one who went zero to 60. She ended up going into inner earth. <laughs> oh, that's so the cool. first, the first time I said, put your hand, he's going to, I was like, he's going to work with you. All right. I said, put your, put your hand out tonight. And he's going to hold your hand. I said, can you just hold her? I'm like, I'm like, just, just like, can you, he's like, yeah, oh, totally. And like, can you just hold her hand or something? So she can, you know, have a win. Right. And he did that night. He, she felt that. And then he took her somewhere. Um, Cause she blacked out for the whole night pretty much. So I'm like, oh, you really had, <laughs> yes. <Yeah, so laughs> then, then she had more and more experience after. Um, and, and actually it's, it's true. Once that door opens, no matter how small it is, when it starts to crack, it opens. And you're yes. going to start. Yeah, not necessarily bells and whistles. I mean, I think people are expecting like, um, you know, wow, you know, it's very, very so telepathy is very subtle. It yes. can be emotions, it can be sensations in your body, you feel heat, something like that. Um, it can be it can be crisp visions. I always tell people you're going to see the visions. It's like behind your yes. eye. Mm -hmm. It's behind your eye when you and you you can actually still see it. Yes, but it, it, it can be very crisp. It can be a little blurry. It can be whatever. So don't expect like bells and whistles, like full manifestation in front of you. Not necessarily. Um, it's, it can be quite, like I said, it's, um, I don't channel. Um, some people may experience channeling. 
So that's when you allow someone else to actually use your body. Right. Um, so when I get messages, when I talk to higher counsels and things like that, um, I don't channel, they, I, I let them sit. So they basically, they always come in right about here. And then they, then they talk and I get, you, you, it depends. Like everybody will feel this differently. Some people will hear voices. I don't hear voices. They use my voice. I get downloads. I get smells. I get sensation. So I get, um, when I, when I translate in a sub in a transmission that they give me a message, they, they want me to share with someone, I get the whole experience. So I'll get visuals. They'll send visuals, they'll send emotions. And then I have to kind of translate it into like words, but you lose a lot. So People should be aware of like how it, how it's coming into them. Any any little subtle thing you're getting, anything that's it is starting to come in. So you got to get rid of all the self doubt and just yeah. bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Um, like I said, if you need if your crystal works, do it right. If a smell works, some people like I'll wear different smells sometimes. That can open up for experiences. Um, like some rose oil, rose yeah, rose whatever, oil. whatever. Some people like incense. Some people yes. would stare into a candle. Like yes. Just everything, you know, what, what, what seems to resonate with you? What, walking in nature, even. Walk, you know, a lot of people, it. yeah. Just go, go somewhere where there's a lot of beautiful green, like you're kind of secluded, but there's a lot yep. of beautiful green or trees around you. Yes. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's whatever works for you, you know. Right. You know, I think a lot of people think about meditation. They think about these monks using these mantras and like, that doesn't work. I can't do that. It doesn't work for me. I mean, so don't, don't, I think it's, it's, it's just, personalizing everything you know not looking for rules and regulations because there aren't any and just personalizing everything yeah right i guess the only thing because we're talking about connecting with star beings um, i'm not talking about you know connecting with um other entities um you know which some people may want may or may not want to do um you know it goes well goes with it's common sense right don't do anything that's going to call in weird stuff i mean right I don't do any kind of like really, I don't, I'm not religious, obviously, <laughs> but um, I don't do any rituals beforehand. I, I just know I'm, I just know I'm protected. Right. So um, it's just common sense when, it, when you do stuff like that. Um, but it, it, it meditation is key and it will come in through the meditation and it gets faster and faster and faster. And again, it's coming from, and I think that's part of what, you know, um, as they, the Pleiadians mentioned too, when you, when you're entering into this state in love, nothing negative is going to come in right simple yeah yes but yeah if you're if you're can't love look, energy protecting you yeah. that could not, nothing can reach that it's just not going to get in there you know no one negative is going to come through to you it's really that's right. it. simple um if you're if you're doing this like i said and this is where you run into trouble people who take substances mm. if you're you're in if you take a substance that will drop your vibration now you're in a low vibration you're 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 open i don't know right. what's gonna you're you're like a target right yeah. you're done <laughs> you know or any kind of substance you take you know no you're you've just dropped your vibration um so you know a lot of people people get into real big trouble with that kind of thing but really that that's all it, it takes to do it and just just let it start to happen and then eventually what you'll start to notice is particularly if they're if they're um well i think when you make a connection with with a family member um who's in a physical body you will then start to create a real intense vibe with that person and they'll kind of enter your, your, your realm. Basically um, you almost share, but you'll, I don't know how they do this, but they almost like you almost share bodies. Hmm. Very interesting. It's, 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 it's like an energy share and you'll feel their energy and they'll feel your energy. It's not a collective. It's, it's just some kind of like you, you mesh and they do this. I think more than, you know, I, I, I mean, you definitely open up, right? I mean, you're opening up to them. So there's that energy that you're putting out, but you will definitely mesh. And these this, like bodies, when you say family member, you mean like a star family member? Yes, yes. Okay. It's physical body. Yeah. Okay, okay. And they will definitely mesh with you. Wow. Completely mesh into your body. Yeah, let that happen. It takes a little while. I mean, I, I can't say for, I, I would say it would take some a little bit of while because you have to get to the stage where they're able to do this okay. where they're able to enter and mesh with you right and you'll know when it's happening now you can feel them for sure i mean they'll hug you and all these wonderful things like this and yeah yeah um there may be i never noticed any real only when i bi-located once i noticed a smell hmm. which 
like the area where wherever we were, not them. <laughs> it's like the area. <laughs> <laughs> they don't, they don't, um, yeah, yeah. So I can smell the uniform because they work with machinery. Right. Okay. Oh, so, okay. Like, yeah, there's that. Okay. I, I wouldn't say this. I mean, you may get a smell of, of, of a perfume that they wear or something like that, that they want to share with you. You may have that. Um, sure. I may, may, I might say particularly, I haven't noticed it with any of the men I've been around. Um, I, I did want, want, so this will happen for people too. You may have others, other, not necessarily family members, but people you knew up there and upstairs <laughs> or friends of the friends, right? Um, and they may come into you as well. I, I actually had that. I had a woman come in. She was red-haired Pleiadian woman and she was coming to earth and she was concerned, but she didn't speak English. So she was speaking their language um, in my head and I could hear her voice and she gave me all of her emotions. Um, so they will, they will, that's what you will experience. And people should be aware of that. You will feel their emotions and usually your emotions will be love. You know, but I had, open, and I said, if anybody needs help, you know where I am. So that way there, <laughs> they came in. Right. Um, yeah. So it's like, so their physical but, body, yeah, like us, is 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 not here, but it's yes, somewhere they, else. Uh, they can. Oh, oh, they can be anywhere. Here. It doesn't matter where you are, and you because you're telepathic. It doesn't matter anywhere, anywhere. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Some, some are here. Yeah, you. They, they're, okay. they're, they're, there are many, many actually, um, different star beings living on Earth. Yes, so they are. Yes. Here. You, you will. But it doesn't matter as far as the connections go. I've, I'll be taken right to the Pleiades and hang out with my family. Okay. Like family reunions up there um, in the right. attic, in Astro Project. Yeah, totally, totally. Um, or wherever, wherever, I mean, that's just my star family, um, but other people will connect and you'll connect with yours. And it'll be a different experience because each race up there is a different group. So right. Different, you know. Um, if you're like Syrian, Pleiadian, like that type, um, it's, they're more human-like. Somebody who's Andromeda and Arcturian, it's going to be a little different. They're higher vibration. I can relate this to, like, okay, to humans. I can make this yeah. so that humans can understand. Okay. Say you have a mother that's Italian and you have a father that's Irish. And you go visit your mother's side of the family that's Italian, yes. right? They're going to confront you with a different energy than the Irish ones. Yes. The Italian ones are going to hold you. Their, their eyes are going to light up and they're going to give you a great big hug. And they're going to be like, yes, we're so happy to see you. The Irish ones are going to be like, hey, how's it going? Right. And they're going to sit still on their chair. Yep. And they're going to be very calm and very gentle and very loving, but in a different way. A different so way. it's yeah. the same thing with the star beings, right? Absolutely. And of course, every person is different, you know. Yes. Uh, so, Absolutely. you know, and what they'll start to do is, is I, I mean, I, I can't, I've only met with, I met with um, Alpha Centauri or Tau Ceti man. I met with um an arcturian woman and i met with inner earth uh two uh, in, uh, inner earth people um so the inner earth people are more like the pleiadians uh, but again it's hard to say because everybody's a different person you know you got thousands millions of people in one and one um yeah. so the inner earth man that i met with um he was super nice he was, he was you know they're thousands of years old um and, and and we ended up crying together. I mean, it was a very, very emotional. There's a lot of emotion. That's people should be aware of that. Now, I don't, the Arcturian woman, I didn't get, they're just very pleasant, very gentle energy. I didn't get a whole lot of emotion. Um, but if you're like from with the Pleiadian and the, and the inner earth, it was like, wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of emotion, a lot of emotion, a lot of love, like touching and like, whoa. Yes. Um, yes. It can be really huge. But it's, like, like, it's funny because you would think, okay, the higher vibrational beings you're connecting with, that's going to have more wow than than something like the low, you know, three to five, right? The lower type dimension, the density, the dimension, density. Right, right, right. Um, wrong word, density. People uh, know that the um, like, like say, say, I would say Syrian. The Syrian energy is a little different. I've never really, I've been Syrian, but I don't really. Um, but if if you are Pleiadian, so that's going to be inner earth and Pleiadian is going to be like wow. Got a yeah. lot of a lot a lot of loving like wow sens sensual type energies yeah 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 so yeah it's it's I I, I recommend I mean I, I think this is one thing I tell people do this for yourself you know do it for yourself don't be relying on other people start contacting your family yes you know start start getting involved you know just don't have to be your family just contact you know, they're all oh, I'm not I don't think I'm doesn't matter just start contacting yeah you know I, 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 I yeah. 
I think you're right. It's like a, you know, you don't have to go try to find a psychic. You don't have to go to try to find somebody else that, you know, can do it for you. You right. can, you can have a, a like a one-on-one, -on -one, yeah. you know, relationship with them. Just yeah. like the difference between, you don't have to like, like going to a priest and, you know, and having him do everything for you. You don't have to do that. You don't need a priest. You don't need an, a, a go between. You don't need no. a mediator. You just, you can have a relationship with them. Just like absolutely friends, you know, well, yeah. they are friends. They're family. They're friends. They're like, absolutely. Yeah. You know, they, they want, like I said, they want, they're trying to connect with people. That's what people understand. Like once you open up to this, like, and they'll start teaching you. I can't explain. I've never, until I started meeting um, these people that I've, I've known my, you know, past, I've known every since I came into this body um, and before, like what the love that they have is like, I can't, you can't put in words. Hmm. If you think you've known love, you haven't known. <laughs> That's all I can say. You have not. And even when you think you did, there's more. Hmm. Yeah. There's, yeah. And then you'll start, like I said, you'll start opening up to, to other people and, other, and more and more people. And, and you can start, you'll just, it'll just start to happen. Like I went from zero to like, I can contact anybody's pretty much star being star family right now. They'll come right in. Um, yeah. It just starts to happen, you know, um, and, and people should be aware, too. You may actually end up, you know, that's the thing with us being human here and, and being knocked down all the time. Yeah. And I blame schools and God knows who else for this. But, you know, we, we don't feel worthy, which is one thing that drives them nuts. Yeah. They hate that. Start people, <laughs> there's this sense of, um, oh, well, I'll never contact this high council or this guy or whatever and all this. Yeah. But, you know. Right. Exactly. You know, they they don't see you like that. There's no need to be intimidated. Not at all. But that just comes from low self-esteem. It just it drives them crazy. It right. drives them crazy. And well, again, uh, like we said, humans have had it beaten out of them. It like beat you into you. It's beaten it's into you. They've been, it's been like taught you don't, you know, you don't do this, you don't do that. You're not you you don't have yeah. the right to do right. this or that. It's I don't or you don't deserve is the biggest thing. Well, you, you don't, don't deserve it, you don't have the right to do it, you don't yeah, so many right, so many things yeah. that have been brainwashed into it's all nonsense it's to keep you enslaved right and people exactly. are feed, people are feeding into this like crazy stop yes. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah just stop doing that it's just nuts you know um and and it's once you and i think that's what holds back a lot of people too like oh i'll never talk to this i'll never talk to that um just go ahead and do it yeah and, and i think gotta, yeah. i'm sorry like you said to me the other day you gotta tap into your powers yeah yeah. yeah. And I think sometimes too, we, we were just talking about this before we came on because it's kind of a delicate subject. But I think sometimes if you're watching a lot of these other people who are on YouTube or whatever, you know, they almost make it seem like I have this special gift. Right. Um, we all have that special gift. So I think that's where you have to be careful of thinking, oh, I could never do that. No, you wouldn't do that because you're you. Right. So this is what people have to understand. Right. You know, you will experience telepathy in your body, which will be very different from the way somebody else experiences it in theirs. Yes. Yes. You know, it's very important. It's like we all have different tastes. We all have different, yes. you know, things yes. that we like or don't like it. We all have right. different ways of expressing ourselves. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I would, you know, hopefully I would love to hear from people and, and they're my cat's here now. She's like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there. yeah. It's, um, and of course that animal communication, same thing. Um, yeah. But, you know, it'd be great to hear from people who who start this and, and this journey. And uh, that's my goal is to get people to all start this journey because they're all going to be there. When, I mean, it just makes it a little bit easier. You're all going to be doing this shortly. <laughs> yes. You're all going to be doing this shortly. So that's you might as well get ready for it. Yeah. Now, yeah. Right. Because um, they would be they're, they're They're so excited. I mean, I think I, I just, like I said, I just can't stress that enough they want they can't wait to meet you and people like I, I it's this and we talked about this in one of our other <laughs> there's this this meshing that's going to happen right and, and i don't i don't even know if that's possible i can't say i i you know haven't had it every single ever experience but i think i just have never personally experienced anything like this on earth the connection that yeah. and i tried like i'm just i just want people to, i want people to have this experience like i went to a family reunion on the pleiades um and 
It's just like, I tried not to fit in. I thought, I'm going to try that. I'm going to, cause like, I think, I, I don't know, maybe, I you know, when, you know, when you meet humans and there's always that sense to where you really just kind of like, eh, you know, don't really, I don't like yeah. fully, fully fit in. Right. Yes. 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 Fit in. Right. But it's like, <laughs> just, it's like, this was like, I couldn't not fit in. I couldn't not fit in that it was the most, I never want, you don't want to leave that space. This is the experience that human, this is the experience that humans can create now, but it's the experience they're going to have where you are going to totally just be with others that, I mean, cause and we do this with animals. It already happens with animals, but you're going to be doing this with the humanoids, right? Cause that's, who's going to come first. You're going to have this experience with humanoids, things that look in our bodies. And it's going to be like nothing you've ever felt. Yeah. Like you are going to be so totally loved. It's like you, you just, it's, it's just perfect. You don't have to do any, you know, it's like, oh, I should act like this. I was like, no. Yeah. It's, it's just, you just, they love you for you, for what you are. And it's, wow, it's amazing. It's just, that's, that's what I want people to experience. Yes. That's yeah. beautiful. You you don't have to try to fit in. You don't have to try to no. do anything to impress them in any way. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and it, it's just it, 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 it doesn't even occur to you. Like I just it was playing around with it just to feel that. Can I feel different? No, I can't feel different. This is just like <laughs> just you know. It's um and looks aren't a big thing. I think people should be okay okay with that as well. I mean, yes, these these beings. I, I what is what is beautiful? I don't know. I mean, it depends. But, um it's energy energy is what's beautiful it's, it's beautiful yeah, yeah yeah i think but you know you see online you different pictures of, of what they look like um you know, especially if you know you know um people shouldn't worry about oh i don't look like that don't worry about that they they don't see you i think that's the thing they don't see faults in people right they don't they don't look at you and be like oh your nose is too big oh this is or that you know like <laughs> you need to lose 10 pounds they're not going to do that <laughs> Yeah, they're not gonna do that. They 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 just are all love. I don't know how else to describe it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so beautiful. It's just beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I feel it. I feel that. Oh, it's it's like I yeah. I, I will say yeah. You know, once they because you know we all we just mentioned with Frank and Chili, um, we had a wonderful talk there with with um Frank Chili. Um, but once you've been like connected. It comes through you. Yeah. You that love that feeling of like wow, it just comes through you. Yes. And you carry it around every I tell people, you know, take it with you, take it everywhere. That's your job. You carry it with you everywhere. Every and everybody feels it and they respond to you because they feel that love that you carry with you all the time. Yeah. 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 It's yes. amazing. Yeah. It's gorgeous. So it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah, you for think, sharing this. Yeah, I think we pretty much that's that's like I said, that's about it. You know, it's really it's not it's not complicated. It's, it's not hard. Nope. It's not hard at all. Yeah. Give it a shot, give it a try. And uh, you know, just you know, it can't hurt anything, right? No. No, the only thing I say is if, if anybody uses chemicals. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean obviously that's the red flag. That's gonna be that guy can be very dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, just just try don't try to do anything like that you know i mean like i was thinking of doing that myself because i was trying to get messages and yeah. i was trying to understand messages that i was getting and i couldn't understand them and i was getting really frustrated like i don't know what this means but no you don't need to take a chemical to fu to figure that out because you that know? that's going to drop your vibration right so so all you get all you need to do is just wait to be shown you know you'll they'll show you when you need to know it um, yeah. and if they're showing it to you right now and you don't understand it, then you don't need to understand it right now. Yeah. And right? ask for help too. If, if there's some, like, I'll, um, you know, when I don't ask them, it's like, can you be clear? Can you show me something more? Right. And um, what I did, you know, this, to be yeah. fair, I did ask them to show me something. They yeah. showed me something. I didn't understand it. I got frustrated. I came back, said, can you show me that again? They did show it to me again. And then I was like, okay, I still don't understand the symbols. What do they mean? And then, and then Frank <laughs> in one of his videos had the symbols that I just saw. And it was like, oh my God, they're in that video with Frank Chili. And then the next thing I know I'm interviewing Frank Chili. <laughs>
Yes. See, that can be, that, that's something people have to understand too. Like there's um, let flow. Yes, it's let beautiful. It flow. Because then like I'll get information. That's why I never, if I do a reading for somebody about their star family, they want, they, they, they know they're an envoy and they want to connect with their star family and they, and they have me uh, find their star family for them. I yeah. won't lie with them because I have to give it the time to actually come through to right. have the people that I'm trying to contact with, with the information, yeah. come through and give me the information. And then you did, you gave me my information. It comes, okay. they will always bring the information. Yes. They yeah. came through. It was beautiful. Yeah. It was so beautiful. They always, they want to connect. They want to come through. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But people, people ask to ask, ask, and I've done this, ask for help, ask for downloads or ask for assistance. I'm trying to do this. What do I need to do? Right. Yeah. I'm yes. trying to do, what do I need to do? And they will give that to you. Oh, yes. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I want to have more of this. I want, and they'll give you timelines too. Like, okay, you not yet. They may say you'll experience this in another month. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's hard to be patient. Yeah. Um, I'm oh. very, I have to admit, I'm very impatient. And we're uh, Canadian, so we don't have, we don't have any patience. <laughs> they don't have any patience either. I mean, well, I can't, <laughs> some, some patient Canadians, but the ones that we don't have patience. No, it's, it's um, yeah. It's, it's overrated anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yes but anyway, what's the point of patience it's, you don't some idiot came up with this idea that patience isn't yeah, it's nothing no <laughs> uh, yeah and it's, all, it's all wrapped up in time anyway which doesn't exist so doesn't exist, you know and, and but i'm glad you brought it up because i think this is something other pe people will want to do those two people who are envoys yeah or who suspect so uh, once you know what you, what you are is to start tapping into that start tapping into what that is read about it learn about it what resonates with you there's a lot of information out there go through all of it what resonates right. with you right it'll resonate with you and your body yeah and you're oh okay this is this is you know this makes sense oh, this oh, this makes sense and it'll right. come out of you and then you'll start to so this is what they've been telling again we're in the era of remembering so yeah. through this process you will begin to transform your body and transform your your personality you're like this is because a lot of times you know we've been you know you, you'll really start to transform your personality and start to find expressions yes really start to express who you are based upon whatever whatever you really are you know are you syrian are you andromedan are you you know a hell pleiadian are you tall pleiadian um then then it'll, then like what what are some of the characteristics that are sitting inside you dormant to bring those things out yeah and then absolutely. they start and really go okay this is what I, yes it'll res you'll, you'll start to transform like you you will find your real personality which i think and, and these may be things that you've always had and that you yes. knew you had but just didn't really realize why you had them right, right? Exactly. Yes. exactly yeah yeah it's amazing it's all, it's all, all awesome <laughs> it's all awesome exactly yes well, thank you again for sharing. And uh, it's just amazing. It's I love talking to you because you always like reveal things that are deep inside. Like, you know, like it's like there's a reservoir inside that, you know, needs to be tapped and you pull it out of me. So thank you. That's what we do with each other. You know, that's what we're going to, that's what's, that's our, that's what we're here to do. To bring all these energies through. Yeah. Yeah, and we're doing it. So, so. Yes. yes, we are. <laughs> exciting gone. times, exciting times. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yes. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Ciao. We'll see you. <laughs>